Over the last 15 plus years, I've developed Excel add-ins for missing features I wish Excel had built in. Microsoft just added one of these features to help us save time and frustration with pivot tables. So in this video, I'll explain the new update, some of its weird quirks, and I'll also share my previously paid solution that I've now made free so you can get this feature if you're on an older version of Excel. So let's get to it. All right, so in this example, I have some sales data here and I wanna create a quick summary report. So I'm gonna select any cell inside my table, go to the insert tab, and I'm going to use a pivot table. And we'll just insert it on this existing sheet for this example. And here we'll build out our pivot table. So I wanna see a sum of price by category. So I'm gonna put category in the rows area and price in the values area. And you'll notice here that the numbers in the values area are automatically formatted. This is a new feature in Excel. And prior to this update, and I should mention that this update is currently in beta at the time of this recording, so you might not have this yet. And prior to this, if you were to build out a pivot table, these numbers here would just be in the general format. So they would look like this, and you'd have to go take extra steps to format them. So with this new update, what's happening here is the pivot table is detecting the number formatting that is applied in this price column here in the source data and applying that automatically to the pivot table. Now, when I first tried this feature, I thought it wasn't working for me, but it turns out I was using it incorrectly. So here's how to not make that same mistake. So if we were to go over to the quantity column here and change the number formatting, it's currently general, let's just change it to a number format uh, with some decimal places. And if we go back to our pivot table and we now add quantity here to the values area, you might expect to have this number formatting applied. However, that's not what's going to happen. Instead, we're gonna just have the general number format here. And that's because the pivot table does this formatting when the pivot table is created. And even if we were to refresh the pivot table first, if we were to right click refresh or Alt F5, and then add the sum of, or the quantity field into the values area, we're still not going to get the formatting that's currently applied here. Because again, we changed this formatting after the pivot table was created. Now there is one caveat to that. If we were to add a new column to our source data here, and I'm just gonna call this one uh, revenue, and we'll say that is uh, quantity times price, and these values are formatted. If we were to add this uh, field, so we'll go ahead and uh, right click refresh here, if we were to add the revenue field to the values area, you can see that those numbers are formatted. So any new fields or really new columns added to the source data, as long as those are formatted before you do the refresh on the pivot table and then add them to the values area, that formatting will be saved as the default for that field in the pivot table. So the way this feature is implemented has some weird quirks and really just a few things to be aware of. First of all, I've added a chart here. I've added a pivot chart that's connected to this pivot table. And of course, when you change the number formatting in the pivot table, we'll go ahead and change this. We're gonna use a custom number format and we're gonna display this number in thousands. So we'll put a K here and then we'll also put a uh, dot zero to give us a decimal place. So number in thousands, hit okay. When we make that change to the pivot table, you can see that that number formatting is also automatically reflected in the pivot chart. And this is great, it just makes our life easier when we're creating reports. Now that same behavior doesn't happen between the source data and the pivot table and chart. So if we were to change the formatting here in the source data, that's not going to automatically update the pivot table and pivot chart. And this can be both a good thing and a bad thing. In this case, it's a good thing because we created this custom number format. We don't wanna mess up the formatting in our report. However, there are scenarios where you might want to change the source formatting here, like we had in the quantity field, and then add that to the values area of the pivot table and see that formatting here so you don't have to go take extra steps to apply it. So it would be nice to be able to toggle this feature on and off. And later in the video, I'm gonna show a way to do that. And the next thing to be aware of is this probably won't work on any of your existing pivot tables. So here I have an older data set. You'll notice that the unit price column has this uh, formatting applied, this currency formatting. If we go over to a pivot table that's using that uh, source data there, and we just add unit price to the values area, you can see that the number formatting has not been applied. And that's because I created this pivot table before this feature came out. 
And the third thing to be aware of is that these settings are stored independently for each pivot table. What I mean by that is let's go and create another pivot table. So we'll go insert here, pivot table. We'll put it on this sheet just down below and we'll build out really the same pivot table. So category and rows, and I'll take quantity and put it in the values area. And you'll notice that these numbers are formatted. And that's because I created the pivot table after changing the number formatting here in the source in the quantity column. So this one, when I add quantity to the values area, will not have the number formatting applied, but this pivot table will, because again, it was created after I applied the number formatting in the source. So as time goes on and you make changes to the number formatting in your source data and also create new pivot tables, you're going to get some inconsistency in the number formatting when creating the pivot tables. And overall, I don't think this is too big of a deal, but I think it will cause a bit of confusion when creating and updating different pivot tables. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this feature used to be a paid feature. Over 10 years ago, I developed an add-in called PivotPal, and one of the features of PivotPal was automatic number formatting for pivot tables. You could access it by just right-clicking on the pivot table, and you'll see this automatic number formatting option. And since then, I've also made this feature free. So you can download the macro that runs this feature, and I'll link that up in the description below. I also have a video that walks through the setup. But essentially how this works is you can toggle it on or off. So I'm gonna click this, that'll toggle it on. If you right click again, we can now see that it's toggled on. And here in this specific pivot table, we can remove some of quantity. And when we add the quantity field now, we'll go ahead and add it to the values area, you can see that that number formatting is applied. So what the macro does is it detects the source formatting or the formatting that's applied in the source data and then applies it to the pivot table as you're adding that field. And you can still use all the functionality of the pivot tables fields list to build out the pivot table and it will do all that work for you in the background. So if you're on an older version of Excel that won't get the new updated feature, or if you wanna use this feature on existing pivot tables, I'll put a link in the description where you can download this macro for free and also that video that explains how to install it. So overall, I'm excited Microsoft has implemented this new feature. Even though it has a few weird quirks to it, it will still save us a ton of time and frustration from always having to apply number formatting to our pivot tables and charts. If you're new to pivot tables, check out my free three-part video series on an introduction to pivot tables and dashboards. I'll link that up in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.